Okay, hello. This is Rani Ahmed with you. This is lesson uh, 11 in uh, programming using uh, the language Objective-C uh, on the uh, Macintosh operating system platform. Now, in this lesson, I'm going to talk about how to uh, use uh, pointer variables. Okay, and uh, we're going to identify uh, what are the uh, pointer uh, pointers, you know, you know, in general. So, uh, we have this. Uh, representation this uh, schema this drawing uh, of the RAM now uh, here the RAM is uh, like uh, a long chain of uh, boxes you can say and this is just a represented uh, representation it's not for real okay but the RAM is a little bit different than this but what we want from the RAM is that there is uh, like in that chain, okay, of boxes, there's beside it uh, a chain of uh, uh, of addresses, okay, which are uh, respectively uh, pointing or uh, referring to each uh, chain. Like here, I have a f it's like a table where you have an address. Uh, like uh, here, the address is on the f on the left side field. And the right side field is just the values. So, for example, at uh, zero you have a value, but of course zero doesn't have value in pointers. But just for now, just understand that I have here at, for example, number three, at address number three, I have an integer of, uh, whose value uh, is three. Okay. Now, uh, now when I want to define a, a pointer. I must say like write int star ptr now the the letters ptr okay uh, alone they only hold the address of the uh, or they are they represent the symbol for uh, the value of an address in the RAM it does not uh, they don't uh, hold the value itself it's just the address okay so ptr if you want to say print ptr if you want to see what uh, pretty r has as a value it has only an address it cannot take like a character it cannot take anything uh, other than just an address in the memory okay and its type is just uh, an address it, it's uh, it's not a type of an integer it's not a type of anything else it's just an address okay so when I say int star ptr, this means ptr is pointing, okay, is uh, pointing, is referring, okay, is holding the stick uh, to point at this location. For example, here this location is number three, so it's pointing at number three, okay, and the uh, address, okay, here is holding the value named. Uh, the holding the value which is of type integer okay and that value is equal to 3 so uh, using the star uh, operator okay we can uh, get and set at the location held by the symbol PTR okay uh, the value of the contents at that location, that say uh, that location address that's saved into the symbol PTR. So let's go to the code to be much clearer. Where's the code? Sorry. So um, I want to remove those long necessary for us okay so um, here I'm saying that I have an integer named I okay so till now before the assign uh, operator I'm saying that in the uh, the compiler will say will make a table of symbols okay and one of the symbols here is i because I told the compiler to have i uh, a symbol named i 
okay and uh, it will be set a value of 17 of type integer and at that time when sets uh, this and does this line uh, at that time it will set an address uh, automatically okay but here I'm saying that I have uh, a pointer which I will be setting it the address of I so through the ampersand I'm setting the address of I so to know where I is located okay only this highlighted word the ad address of I without the star okay is now holding the value address of I okay so to print that value you have to say percent P okay and everything is printed in hexadecimal numbers which is which means that the uh, like uh, like the counting is from 0 till 15 and if I get 16 I must uh, shift to another digit a new digit okay and uh, put one so if I say for example uh, one C okay if I say one C forget about the warnings and the, and the errors this is not uh, related so if I say one C just writing one I present things to you so uh, if I have one C it means that C is 12 because uh, you, you're counting from 0 till 9 and then 10 will be A uh, B will be 11 uh, C will be 12 E uh, so I mean a B uh, so A, B, C, a D then you got E and F which is 15 okay so C is 12 so this is how they represent numbers between uh, 10 and uh, 15 so C is 12 now I have here another digit this means that I have an additional 16 okay so it will mean uh, this means that I have 12 plus 16 okay because we usually count till 10 and whenever we jump over 9 we have to move to another digit and add 1 okay so they use this way of hexadecimal uh, uh, address numbering okay address uh, numbers okay and this is how I'm getting the address of I okay now uh, I has the value of uh, percent I so to get what's inside this location like I now having this address so I want to ask the computer what's inside that location okay now I told the compu computer first that the uh, at that location things must be uh, integer okay so the pointer and the address of I are the same so, so having the same uh, location uh, number okay same address number so uh, star address of I will make will help me print the contents at that location will help me print the contents at this 7ff18 okay now um, and therefore I'm getting the value of 17 okay now like anything in the computer everything is loaded into the memory everything is loaded into the RAM so therefore your your program is loaded into the RAM so it must have some location and therefore everything in your, in your uh, program also has a location address okay some number refers to uh, the address and the location okay so the address number so consider it's like a phone number okay you're calling somebody and you know what's inside what's going on in that room so you just dial that number so that is like how, how, how I'm dialing the number so when I put star it's like you're dialing a number okay and you want to know what's going on inside okay and what's there inside 
So star will be like dialing a phone number. Start of dial. So anyway, just understand that as we told, told you, everything has a location in, in memory, and therefore your main, your function name must have a location. So to get that location uh, number, to get that phone number of main, okay, okay, I use percent p here, similarly uh, like we did here, and therefore we get this function starts at this value. Okay, if I wrote another function, it will give you also uh, value for that uh, uh, for the address uh, number of that uh, function okay so now we understand uh, what's uh, the pointer and what's the uh, uh, what's how to get uh, the value at that pointer now I don't want to stop at just ends. I want to move also using another example using float. Okay, so uh, I have, for example, defined m as 3.5. Cool. Now, and it's a float. Now, what did I do is I said float star k. So this means that I am just saying, for now, prepare mo for me. Uh, what do you call uh, a pointer but currently don't set that pointer at any address okay don't tell it to go to any address in the memory so because of this by default it has the value of null because you're saying it's like your teacher holding a st uh, pointing stick okay and uh, he's just holding it he's not pointing it at any point in the uh, suburb okay on the board. So, um, so null, all caps, means you're not pointing to anything, okay? And even if you set it as like this as zero, okay, there's no problem. This means also you're setting it. This is the exception to uh, assigning right away. So only zero. So zero and null and small nil, all nil, small, and il are all small. Uh, it means that you're not pointing to anything. Now, this small nail is used most mainly in uh, Objective C libraries. Okay, uh, it's, uh, they, they use this way, but it's the same null. If you use that way and uh, nil and null, they are uh, very much the same. Okay. Now, we usually what we used to do is that when we assign, we assign right away. Okay, because we can do that because uh, here it's just a normal value but when I do this you must have to assign an address you cannot assign characters as we said you cannot assign anything else okay just the address the type is just the address okay so this means when I do this you are delaying okay you're delaying the Assignment of the contents of the of the of the location of the pointer, okay, or the, at that location that the pointer are holding, okay. So, when I say, for example, k assigned as percent m, it means that k and uh, the like k is now holding the address of m, okay. So you you made your teacher point. At somewhere in the board, okay, and that somewhere is holding uh, that somewhere is uh, is M, okay. Now, using star K, I can now assign uh, 7.25 some things, okay. Now, K and M, K is pointing at M now, so because when I do star K. It means that, of course, at that location, you're telling the computer, at that location, named k, okay, set 7.268. But at that location, we've got m, okay? k is pointing at m. So therefore, you are forcing m to change from 3.5 to 7.25, okay? So here's, uh, just give me a little bit. 
slow. So here when I run the program, okay, I'm saying the value at the address of k this. So uh, k is holding this address. So using person p and star k is what's inside k. What's inside that the location of value uh, location number? Okay, this one. Okay, k again is holding the value of the address. Okay, of an address, not of the address, of an address. Okay, and k uh, is pointing at the address where m is located in the memory. This is what currently is done okay because this is what I did k is taking now ampersand m okay using the ampersand we can get the address of a variable a usual variable okay so k is now pointing at the location of m and therefore through this line I'm telling the computer go at the location named k, symbolized by k, and then using the star, okay, I'm telling the computer at the address symbolized by k, set to 7.2568. Cool? So because k and m share the same location, K and uh, and M have the same address. Okay, it means when I do this line, M must be changed. Okay, and must have changed also. So this is what I this is the output. Okay, and you'll notice that M has changed into two point into seven point uh, two six. Okay, this is just an approximation of this. Okay, because of the uh, percent uh, dot to f over here. Cool. I know it's hard, but uh, it's the uh, hardest thing in C plus plus and C and Objective C pointers. Now, second thing, and I tell you, uh, you will not usually see people who really, really can explain this. Okay. I have been always uh, struggling with this. Okay, so K and M have now through this K uh, present M and present M. Okay, K and M have uh, through this line have the same location. Cool. Next, I want to talk about the size of a variable. Now the size function uh, is used uh, and to print the size of the function you use percent uh, ZU. Okay? Uh, you can use a pointer, you can use the variable name, you can use also the type name itself right away. Okay? Inside this function. So here I have for example the address of i. Let's print it. Now, for this place, this uh, this is empty, so I'm gonna delete it. So here, size of the pointer is what is eight, but when I get the variable here, for example, I'm getting four. It's four bytes. Okay. If you, for example, you want to say like int here, okay, for integer. If you want to say like long. So you get it, and it's an eight. Okay. Um, so you can find through this the size of uh, a variable. Okay. Now the uh, the importance of the size of is that later when we go through some time through linked lists, um, uh, you you'll need some kind of like a struct. 
uh, structures, uh, they, uh, they are just a combina combination of different variables under, uh, under the name of one variable. And therefore, if you want to say, for example, you have three variables in that structure, uh, in that node, okay, uh, you will need to jump after the third variable that you've got, okay? You need because, like for example, the first one is an integer, then you got uh, a, a character, uh, I don't know, maybe a float. So uh, you have to sum the values, okay? The uh, like the sizes of each type okay so for example if you got here float equals 4 and 8 you know so you get the size so you must step into the next uh, like this will be like you know when we do uh, uh, 4 like we have to use doing 4 i equals 0 i plus uh, uh, i less than 10 for example and i plus plus ok so uh, the stepping here is using the i plus plus and size of will help us in uh, doing uh, size of ok ok so uh, using size of uh, as I told you we can uh, step from uh, one node in the structure to another node in the structure without having uh, an overlapped uh, structure so the data uh, would get lost okay so uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this lesson okay and please uh, re uh, listen to it a hundred of times okay because it's just like the most important lesson in C++ seriously um, and uh, thanks for uh, watching uh, please subscribe and uh, your comments please are very important to me okay, please subscribe using your own uh, youtube account thanks bye, -bye.